Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I am Jules Juliet. Thank you so much for watching. I do have a fan going on because it is hot and it's summer. So you guys do hear a white noise. That is my fan. So as we can see, I ended up experimenting just a little bit because my roots are growing out already. You guys can actually see them right there. So I decided, I like, you know what, let me just, just add some more color because the color that I previously had was kind of like going greenish and I wasn't a big fan of it and this color didn't even grab as much look at this you guys see that it made it like a weird like black color and only like right here got it pretty nice as well as here and here which is okay it's like whatever this is actually the next hair dye that I'm gonna do is most likely gonna be like this nice red but anyways that's not what we're here to talk about as you can see I have definitely moved again and I feel like this is the best way I can only downside is that I'm afraid that if you see the sunlight that my one heat up my camera to heat up my ring light and I'm kind of worry about that but anyways today I just wanted to talk to you guys about what's going on what's up and um I have no makeup on which is okay I'm actually gonna do like a light makeup so as we're talking we're gonna be getting ready I mean I'm not gonna I'm not really going anywhere so, so I'm not actually trying to do a lot of makeup. Um, so I'm just going to do something light. I already did my eyebrows. They look nice. Nice, nice. I am breaking out completely on my forehead. I don't have my ring light on, so let me know how this light is working. Basically, I'm just using regular sunlight. It's, like, amazing. As you guys follow me on Instagram, I ended up opening my own boutique. Now... With that being said, I actually do feel like I overthought everything. I wanted everything to be there and I wanted everything to have. And I did overthink a lot of the things that I did. And some of the things I do really regret doing, which is understandable, but it's fine. It's a learning process. And um, yeah, I ended up opening my own boutique. And so far, I love many of the products that I ended up buying. And I hope you guys really do like them too. I've been posting them on my Instagram, which is right over here. And I hope you guys really do enjoy the pictures. I am actually really kind of like shy to post it on my personal body just because I know that I don't have like the body style. But then it's like, who does have a body style? So I'm kind of like just a little bit shy right now to even post about my body. Um... I'm not where I wished my body is at right now. So maybe that's why I'm kind of like body shy. I have like a lot of breakouts that's going on. Like especially here on the side. This has honestly been like my best favorite brush right now. Just because I feel like I do my makeup like twice as fast. Especially if I just want like something light. I just like brush it on. It gives me like a like a nice even coverage and then I definitely go in with the beauty blender just to pat everything in to make sure no streaks are there so I actually decided to go with a little bit more of everything I honestly just wanted to do swimsuits but then um something ended up happening and I went from being three to which is fine it's understandable so now everything I'm running by myself and um, it's a little difficulty. I do have my little one helping me. I do have, you know, just some support here and there. But it is a little bit difficult, especially when you're on your own and you have to do everything yourself. It is definitely a progress that you need to do. And I am a very impatient person, which isn't a good quality. But I mean, I would have to be very patient because I need to set it up. And again, I think I was overthinking everything so much that... I ended up spending more than I really needed to, which isn't okay, so. I also watched a lot of YouTube videos, and none of them really, like, gave you good details on everything. So basically, everything I'm doing, it's like a learning progress, everything. I'm just basically learning as I go. And some of the pieces I really do love, um, I am going to keep a few for myself just to always have. Wow, that makes a huge difference. It like instantly like brighten up my eye. Let me just show you guys a piece of clothing that I have right now. Okay, there we go. So as you guys can see, I have a few pieces of clothing 
these are actually like my favorite ones they're very doll like Ooh, it's actually coming out really pretty on the camera i've been having a struggle taking pictures of these most this one it's a neon pink it is definitely like a gown type of ish there we go that's a cover-up this one's in the size small this one's in the size medium and then i have a black one which is in the size large and then we have this cheetah print dress which is right over here let me see hold on there we go right over here this is a cheetah dress it has little buttons down here it has about five of them it is actually hold on it is actually pretty tight from here but it has a nice stretch here and it's just like a slim down it has like a little bit of a curve this one's in a size medium to have you could either wear it like this or you could have it literally as like a shoulder dress hold up like this and this is how i ended up taking the model's picture so yes and then i have this baby right over here this one is one of the ones that i was really kind of anxious to purchase just because i wasn't sure how this would work in one's body as well as modeling this um unfortunately like I said, I ended up going from three to one and now I have to find a new presenter for the unit. So this is like the size small and it's beautiful because it has like a body curve already. So it goes where your hips are at. See, like this is a small one. See how like it has like a, an indent right here. So it definitely pops out your curves a lot. And since it is with blind, it's definitely going to curve even more and give you that nice little hip curve. Then we ended up buying these three now i have it in black royal blue and in the color pastel which these are all bodysuits and if you guys saw again i'm going to be putting my link of my instagram these are kind of see-through kind of not so you could definitely wear pasties or not to cover the nipple but these are really cute then since it is summer i decided to buy some biker shorts to sell and these are it they're very lightweight very airy to do yoga to do definitely they are see there are a bit see-through so just keep that in mind they you could definitely see through see they are see-through so just keep that in mind with these they're very airy lightweight and to match with this outfit i ended up getting this so this is so different so innovative and i was like oh my god i need this to match with the biker shorts this is basically a shirt that you can tie and make it look cute or you don't have to tie. It has this. It's just like an on piece for you to be wearing either black bra, no bra. And then we ended up getting these. And these are like the little bralettes that you just wear under. These are very, very see-through. There is no cover. There is nothing on there. And again, these have no wire. Both of the, both of the bodysuits and this has no wire. So just keep that in mind and they are see-through, like very see-through. So this is my completed look, natural, just just light, very light makeup. So yeah, basically this is all the clothing that I have. I actually do have um, swimwear as well. I ended up buying two swimwears, which I was obsessed with and I really do love. And again, complications came through and... <sighs> something that one needs to look for so i'm not looking for ambassadors because i kind of want to do everything on my own i'm not definitely if you guys do purchase my merch i will definitely post you guys on my instagram give you guys a shout out here on youtube and yeah i'm looking for i guess buyers maybe <laughs> i don't really know it's actually a little bit more difficult than i thought it would be and um if you guys want to know more of how i am doing this what are the steps that i take like I'm, I'm even growing right now. I'm even learning right now. So yeah, just thank you so much for watching and always supporting Jules Juliet. I don't know, like I'm kind of like have regrets, you know. So um, I'm solo on this, but I'm gonna actually continue doing this because I really do enjoy doing it. I found a new passion and I'm, I'm really happy. I just feel like I need to be happy within my body shape. Um, because again, I do fear body shaming. That's like the hardest thing that one as a female goes through. And, um, I get it enough here. So I'll see you guys in my next video.